Hey, this is Greg Peckman with Hancock Mortgage here. Just want to give you guys a quick update, plus show you the background here. I'm not trying to be obnoxious to my friends up north, but it is beautiful down here, even though it's a little chillier than normal, but it's still nice. I uh, just want to give you a quick update here about the Fed and what's happening right now. Inflation is about 7.5% year over year, which is extremely high, and they expect it to go higher. Uh, that's why you see everything going up and you know prices at grocery stores, gas, everything else. So they're predicting four rate hikes, okay? Now, once again, I've explained this multiple times. That has nothing to do with your mortgage long-term interest rates. It's everything about short-term interest rates. So meaning that banks lend to banks, okay? So it's that rate that they're lending to each other. And the offspring of that, so to speak, for lack of a better term, is the HELOCs, okay? It's, uh, it's car loans, it's just short-term interest uh, loans, okay? so. The big thing is, is that they, they're gonna stop uh, buying mortgage-backed securities or slow down, and they're gonna let the ones they have now roll off the balance sheet. That's called quantitative tightening, not easing, but tightening. So when that happens, you, you're starting to see rates go up. Today, the bond market took, let's just put it bluntly, a crapper. Uh, it, it dropped all the way down to 80 uh, basis points. It came back up a little, you know, it came, came uh, you know, up a little bit down to like 69, 70, and so forth. So. Just be aware of that when you start seeing this, it's not gonna increase, the, it's not a direct result of increasing 30 year rates, which is a long term uh, interest rates. But however, uh, you know, interest rates will go up if they're gonna stop buying mortgage backed securities and letting the current mortgage backed securities run off the uh, balance sheet. And that's exactly what's happening here, okay? Stay tuned, there's a lot more news coming. It's gonna get worse. So you better lock in those rates. You better, if you're gonna find a house, I know it's tough out there with inventory, definitely try to find something ASAP. Um, I know it's easier said than done, it's tough. Uh, but right now, uh, inflation is out of control and it's gonna get worse and worse and worse here. So when they said it was transitory, they meant it, they, they meant it was only short term and it was just a blip. They were so wrong, uh, we, we called it you know, six months ago uh, to almost a year ago that they were wrong on this and here it is. Now we're 7.5%. That's why gas is almost four bucks in some states. In California, I've seen almost six, seven dollars. So uh, it's gonna get a lot worse. So anyway, just be prepared for it, but understand the information. Don't just say, well, rates are going up. That means mortgage rates are going up. They're going up for a different reason. It's not because they're raising the Fed funds rates. That actually helps mortgage rates. So because it offsets inflation, which is the, which is the arch enemy of mortgage bonds slash rates. Hopefully this makes sense. If you got any questions, comment down below. Shoot me a private message or text me at 423-262-9229. Have a great day. Hang in there.